Hello, LLE artists. Uh, it's Miss Marlissa, or Miss Mars, as most of you know me. Um, and I figured I would start recording some short videos on ways that you can um, do small creative things at home with little to no materials, since um, I know not all of you have art materials at home. Um, some will require art materials, but I'm going to try to come up with things that you can do that don't really use um, too many materials or any materials. So for today's short little creative lesson, you're going to be making a color wheel, um, but it's a found object color wheel. So what you need to do is you need to go around your house, your room, um, wherever you are allowed to take some objects, um, put it back when you're done, and you're going to collect things of every color um, in the color wheel. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Um, you can add pink in with the red because it's just a tint of red, a lighter version of red. Um, but if you don't want to include pink, you do not have to. So I went around and I collected some items. So for red, I got a bucket and paint. Um, I know most of you do not have this luxury, but I really don't have very many colored objects in my house. Hopefully you have toys and other things that are colorful. But I really, I really struggled to actually find things in every color. So hopefully you can find things in every color. Um, along with the red, I'm gonna add in my pink items. So pink ruler, pink pen, and pink ticket. One of our roar tickets um, that some of you have probably gotten from me at one point um, or from other teachers at the school. Hopefully you're still roaring at home. Um, for orange, I have Paint, scissors, uh, actual orange, um, and salt and pepper shaker. Uh, little orange boxes. <clears throat> For yellow, I have a pen and a cell phone battery. Green, I have gum, a candle, and um, some, a piece of a fake flower plant um, arrangement. For blue, I have paint again, um, this little piece of blue ribbon, and this fluffy blue triceratop. For purple, I have uh, lipstick, paint, and this um, <coughs> boot holder. I don't know what it technically is called, but it's for like tall boots. It holds both sides up and together. I don't know. I struggled to find purple, so that's what we got. So those are my objects. So I'm going to take them and I'm going to arrange them in a circle um, with red at the top, orange, yellow, green at the bottom, blue, purple, and then that leads back up to the red. If you want to kind of squish the pink at that end of the red next to the purple, um, it'll help it look nice and pretty. Um, try to keep your colors opposite. Um, the complementary colors. So red and green, like Christmas, um, opposite purple and yellow, if you think of the Vikings, um, and then our school colors. Uh, all complementary color pairs, and we want them opposite of each other um, best you can as they go around the color wheel. So I'm going to arrange mine, and then I will show you what it looks like when I'm finished. Okay, so I took down the easel board behind me, um, put it on the floor, and I arranged the objects in a circle. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. At the top is a red, orange, yellow. At the bottom is green, and going back up is blue, purple, pink, and red. Back to red. <clears throat> so red is at the top, green is at the bottom. Um, and if you can imagine kind of drawing straight lines, orange is straight across from blue, and purple straight across from yellow. <clears throat> you'll take a picture of this and you'll upload it to Artsonia. I will um, create a assignment, <clears throat> an assignment called something along the line of found object color wheel. Um, I'll make it right after I'm done with this video on Artsonia you can upload the picture. Now remember, Artsonia is the same um, app and website we use in the art class at school when we upload our artwork to our digital portfolio. So <clears throat> as long as you have access to the internet um, or the app, 
you're good. You can download it on a phone. Um, you could just scan the QR code and do it on the computer somewhere. Um, <clears throat> pretty much any way you can access it. If you can't, that's fine. Um, just do the project. Um, but if you can upload it, I would love to see it. So you will go to Art Sonia in your phone or whatever you're using. Let me pull it up. I'm going to show you on my phone. So the app is like a colorful splat. Art Sonia spelled A-R-T-S-O-N-I-A. -S -S so when you click on it, it's going to look like this. You have to pick teacher, students, or parents. Hopefully you are the student loading your artwork. Um, we need to do it through the student profile. Kind of made my own. So we can go through this. Um, it's going to take you straight to a camera. Now, if you have the QR code, you can just scan the QR code. Um, otherwise, you could type in the code. So I'm going to show you it here. So this is the QR code. Um, you can just scan this. Um, so if you're watching this on a TV or computer um, and you're using a smartphone, upload it. You could just scan it from here. If that's not an option, then you could just write down these letters um, and type them in. So it's F N B J X W B K. So you'll um, either scan that or type it in. So I'm gonna use the camera um, and just scan the code, pull it back up. So it's gonna verify it. You'll pick your grade. Um, if you just scan the QR code and you're going to the website, you do not have the app, um, it's just going to have you directly type in your name. But if you do it through the app, it's going to ask your grade. Um, <coughs> can it for a second, third, fourth, fifth, or sixth? I'm just going to click all because I don't remember what grade I put my student account in. <coughs> so I have an example. So I'm going to search for my name. Just type it in. When it pops up, I'm going to click on it. So uh, I am Marlissa, username is Marlissa too. So remember your username is just gonna be your first name and a random number that Art Sonia has given you. Um, your artwork will never appear under your full name. So I'm gonna click on it. Um, and then I'm gonna click add artwork. Um, <clears throat> I uh, just did a practice run to make sure it's some work. So I already have one in there but I can add a second one in this at home artwork otherwise like I said I'm going to create one um it's gonna be something along the lines of um found object color wheel um <clears throat> and you could put it under there so whichever one you want to do this at home artwork anything that you have created so far um at home um while you've been away from school that you want to share with me I'd love to see so you could just put it in there um, any drawings, paintings, sculptures, whatever you made. If you decorated a cookie and it was magnificent, I want to see it. Um, if you built a sculpture out of boxes, I want to see it. So anything creative you've made, you can put in that at-home artwork. Um, and I will look at all of them as they come in. I'll comment on them. I'll prove them. Um, and if your parents or guardian have set you to public, um, then anyone else who visits our school page can also see the creative things you can. So I'm just going to go ahead and click at-home artwork. And then I'm going to click the plus sign down here, um, and it's saying that I already submitted one. Hopefully you haven't, but if you have, just click OK that you're sure you want to submit a new one. And then you're going to take a picture. Should take you to camera. <clears throat> if you, this is your first time doing it, you will need to give permission. <clears throat> All right, so I got a picture on my phone of the color wheel. Um, you can rotate it if you need to. Make sure that red is at the top, okay? And then um, kind of crop it best you can. Um, this one with the two arrows at the top is going to let you move these corners wherever you want them. 
Um, this one here all the way to the left will be so it stays a perfect square rectangle. <clears throat> okay, once you have it the way you want it, just click next. Um, you can auto fix, you can brighten, you could gray. Please don't gray this one. I want to see the colors. It's pointing the color wheel. Um, if you want to blur, go for it. I'd like to see what kind of things you found because I definitely struggle to find things across my house. So I'd be interested to see. But if you don't want me to see what's in your color wheel, you can blur it. Submit at the top corner when you're ready. <clears throat> Going to upload that picture. Um, then you can name it if you want. I'm just going to name this submit in the top corner when you're ready. And then there's some questions. Um, <clears throat> it'll depend on which um, project you're under or which assignment, um, depending on the questions. This one asks, what did you make? What did you like about it? What would you do different next time? Answer the questions the best you can. If they don't really apply, that's fine. Um, <clears throat> if you having to answer these questions is going to make you not upload your artwork, then just skip it. I'd rather see your artwork um, <clears throat> than a perfectly constructed response, but I would love to see your thoughts behind um, what you chose to do, okay? So then when you're ready, um, submit is in this corner. And then if it's done, it's right there. You can click on it. Um, I will be able to see it, approve it, comment on it. Um, once again, if your parents have given permission, then once I approve it, it will go to our school um, gallery online. So anyone who visits our school page can see that artwork. Once again, it's only going to be by um, your username. So whatever that name and number is that Art Sonia has given you, it will never be under your full name. <clears throat> and then if you haven't, um, your parents haven't given permission, it's not an issue at all. Only me and you see it. Um, so I can still prove it. I can still comment, tell you what I think of your artwork um, or whatever creative thing you've done. Um, but we don't have to worry about it being public online um, in any way. So it'll just be, you can see it, I can see it, and that's it. Um, I think that's it. If you wanna go back through the objects um, and get even more creative, I challenge you to um, sort them by warm colors and cool colors. Um, by your primary colors and your secondary colors. And if you wanna do those complementary color pairs that I talked about, I'm doing this because they were across from each other, um, you could do that as well um, and take additional pictures and add them to it, Sonia, or just do it for the fun of it. Um, challenge yourself to remember what those color groups are, or if you don't, feel free to look them up um, and practice arranging the objects based on those color groups. <coughs> I think that's it. I will upload another short um, creative activity tomorrow. Um, and that's it. Bye.